It's the 2022 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Championships. Time for the final nine. In the FJ15 division, the issue still in doubt. Virginia Polkinghorn, a veteran of sorts. In the young FJ15 division, takes a fourth row lead into this final nine over Cadence Burge. We're at Northwood Blue. Hole number one, 312 feet. Playing up on top of a sort of ridge here to a basket just before the drop off. First off of the box, from O'Fallon, Missouri, Virginia Pokinghorn. Wow. And we're off and running this final nine with a gallery. Players getting used to playing in front of a crowd. Lots of final nines going on on this same track today in a variety of different divisions. Chloe Lynn, pretty solidly in third at this point. Gaining some valuable experience. Same is true for Cadence Burge. Just four back of Virginia Polkinghorn. Has a puncher's chance and is safely under the basket for a drop in par. Now, Virginia. Ooh, Virginia. Will putt at the drop off, making things interesting. Allison played her way onto the final foursome thanks to the hottest round of the semifinals. Like the lead might be just three after this one. Hayden's Burge does what she's supposed to do. And indeed, the lead will be just three now. Chloe well, we lend the double, but as I said before, safely on the podium.
We head down the hill to the T of number two, just 198 feet, but straight back up the hill to a precarious basket location right in the middle of the upslope. Lots of roots, lots of ridges, opportunities to turn a disc on edge. Cadence with the box. It'll be a very steep uphill putt of about 15 or so feet for Cadence. Allison right through the middle, nearly pin high. Now Virginia coming off a bogey. Things getting interesting here in the final nine. This will not be a victory lap. Chloe Lynn advancing just a few paces in front of the tee pad. It's a great recovery from there. Now Virginia throwing two. Virginia will have that putt to save the par. Over to Allison. Way up on the hillside. Allison continuing that hot play from the semifinal round. The first to birdie on the card in this final nine. Virginia needs this. He knows Cadence has a birdie putt to close. What will the gap be? Great par save from Chloe Lynn. Now Cadence Burge to close to within two. The lead has been halved through just two holes of this final nine. To the third, similarly uphill, just like the second, but in this case, the basket, after you've crested the top of the hill, just 219 feet. Cadence Burge crests the hill. Allison Menchaca next to throw. And Allison also to the top of the hill. Now Virginia Polkinghorn needs to respond after giving up half of her lead in the first two holes. That is a response. That'll be a drop in birdie. Allison Menchaca next to throw. Oh. 
Two in a row for Allison Menchaca, a circle two bomb here on the third in the final nine. Building experience for the future. Vince Burge knows Virginia is under the basket. Just off the mark, she gives one back. Trying to keep it to just one here. Two pars in a row for Chloe Lynn. Golf. And let it fly with Lone Star Dish. To the fourth at 400. Check that 276 feet. We're back out in the open here at the fourth, playing around thick brush to the left. This hole bends pretty sharply around to the left, and players have several choices how wide and low or high they want to go. Allison, keeping these wide, trusting a little bit of height to bring that disc back. That's a pretty common landing zone for Allison. Now Virginia, trying to build some momentum. And what an effort that was. Should be a second birdie in a row for Virginia. That's how you respond after giving up two strokes in the first two holes of a final nine. Hayden's Burge. Looking wide. Oh, wanted to bring that in with a little bit of height. Barely catches a late tree. We Lynn out to players right in that most common of landing zones. Chloe Lynn will putt first. Hayden's Burge, that should be a stress-free par, but Virginia, as mentioned before, in pretty tight for the birdie. Now, Allison. Virginia to put the lead back at four where it started. And there it is. Everybody all square after four. Five to go. Move on to the very challenging fifth, a par four, 419 feet. Players playing to the top of a hill, and then it's a drop off and a serious one down to the level of the basket. Creek behind plays as casual water. Couple of gaps to choose from, none of them particularly large. Virginia appears to be looking to the right. Hit that tree. Awesome. 
right in the middle. Now, Allison. And she's in double bogey land. It's a real challenge to get up and over the hill and back down to the basket after an early tree kick. Cadence Burge will have the same challenge. Now Chloe Lynn going to the forehand. Also an early tree, but at least that one stayed in the middle. Chloe Lynn can try to create something here. Flings that to the left. We'll see where Chloe Lynn is. From the left, you might have a bit of an open angle down toward the basket, even if you can't see it from over there. Over here on the right, though, it's almost a pitch out. Hayden's going to the overhand with something really slow here. Allison takes two to get out of the thick stuff. Chloe Lynn, she's on the opposite side of the fairway. Cadence. needs this one to drift that's not a bad place over there putts get made from short of the creek up on that upper level all the time it's a good place to run something from just outside circle one Virginia doesn't like it, but that's going to be just fine for a chance to save a par. Allison. The joys of playing Northwood. Text that hand. That'll be an awkward stance, but it is level with the basket. Over to Chloe Lynn. She can see the basket from here. It's a real bonus here at the fifth. Looking horns third. With a likely par, Poking Horn will pick up one or more on every one of her final nine card mates. Aiden's Burge. Tickles the chains, but we'll settle for the bogey. Looks like it'll be double bogeys for Chloe Lynn and Allison. Players walk away from the only par four in this final nine back to a par three at hole number six, a 321 foot hole that mimics somewhat hole number four. 
bending sharply to the left at the end of the fairway. And similarly to hole number four, you don't want to go into the left-hand rough early. That'll be just fine for Virginia. Cadence knows this is the time if she's going to put any kind of a move. Nose up, and that is early into the thick stuff on players left. Allison Menchaca. This has the line. And the weight. That gets around the corner. That will be a look for Allison. Louis Lynn should have a look from there. Back to Cadence Burge. Trying to go up and over. Can see the basket from here. Oh, I stand corrected. Many choose to go up and over their cadence right through. Punching out next to the basket. That should be a par. Polking horn. It's okay. Chloe Lynn up near the edge of the bullseye. Now Allison. In for the lone birdie at the sixth. Allison putting together a great round. Three birdies thus far through the first six holes. Virginia Cadence and Chloe Lynn with the pars at hole number six. We skip over the seventh in this final nine, straight to the eighth, a 309 foot par three, a narrow hallway like gap, a little bit of room to work with on the edges though of the fairway. And then things pretty open at the basket and beyond the basket, especially to the right. Oh, no. Allison just a little bit early out of the hand there. Now Virginia. Loves it. Plants that one right out in the open, a little bit short, it looked like, of circle one. That's an excellent drive here at the eighth. Low ceiling and the ground rising up to meet the disc. It's a very challenging window to hit. Cadence Burge. Sounded like that disc at least traveled forward a while before hitting anything. Chloe Lynn now to the forehand. That should be okay for Chloe Lynn. 
So Allison, after a short drive, To Allison again now on the right side. Beautiful. Hayden's managed to get all the way to the edge. Pretty fortunate there, really, for Cadence. Now it's a Virginia Polking Horn. Circle two look. This would probably slam the door. Yeah. Slammed and dead bolted Virginia Polking Horn. Okay. Chloe Lynn. From an awkward stance, matches Virginia's birdie here at the eighth. Caden's now six back with just two to play. The ninth is our eighth hole of this final nine. It's 354 feet. A narrow and uphill par three. Bending ever so slightly back to the right, at least initially. And then sort of a straight line finish to a basket once again perched on a downslope. When it's working for you, it's working for you. Virginia, two tree kicks and right in the middle of the fairway. Well, we lend just a little bit too much turn on that forehand. Cadence. Catches that early tree. Just the one tree there sticking out into the fairway from the left. Mm, nice line. You have so much snap on that thing. Holy Almost crap. got your <laughs> So Cadence next to throw. And next yet again. Spectacular third there from Caden. She'll save the bogey here at the ninth. Chloe Lynn. Maybe a little early on the right, but advances a long way up the fairway. To Allison. And your leader, Virginia Polkinghorn. Throwing her second at the par three. That was so bad. <laughs> and once again, doesn't like it. 
Friendly little kick there puts her just outside of the bullseye for a par. Allison goes long. Now Chloe Lynn did not get a friendly kick over here. And that was even more rude. Allison. And now Cadence. So at the ninth, it'll be a par, a bogey, a double bogey, and a triple bogey, but no positions changing. Virginia Polkinghorne will lead the way to the last hole of the week. Final hole of this major championship, hole number 11, 280 feet. Our three out in the open where friends and family can gather. Virginia with the honors. You see the gathering there near the basket. Again, just 280 feet away. No problem there. Good drive there from Chloe Lynn and Allison Menchaca for the last time. Off the tee pad, just catches the bottom of the canopy. If I could be closer to the basket right now. And then I'd have like an actual putt that I could make. But no. You can make that putt, I see. <laughs> Still talking shop. And to the edge of the circle, now Cadence Burge. Good showing in 2022 for Cadence at PDGA Majors. Then got pin high with her drive. This for Birdie. Bulking horn up to tap in distance. Now Allison. Just a couple of inches low, Polking horn. 
for the last time. Congratulations to Virginia Polkinghorn, your 2022 PDGA Junior World Champion. Virginia getting congratulations. <laughs> The future of disc golf, the FJ15 division, an inspiring showing this week at the 2022 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Championships. I'm Grant Zellner. Thanks for watching. <laughs>